This week was focused on meetings. I've just had a call with the client and uh, I'm super happy. <laughs> a few pens using Flexbox and SAS. Uh, I practice uh, another UI uh, element using Flexbox. I just got disappointed because because grid layout uh, is not ready for production yet because it's not supported by the browsers. Uh, so well, let's leave it for a while. Maybe I'll come back to it somewhere in the future because it's not able to be used without you know much hacks yet. holiday season is almost finished because all of the meetups start living again. 
So this week I'm going to ESV Tech. Uh, we are trying also to organize uh, next front in Malaga and another coffee and code meeting. There are at least three kinds of meetings worth considering while learning to code. Number one, meetups. At this page, meetup.com, you can find uh, local meetups uh, that are being organized in your city uh, or you know close to your city. It's Thursday today. I'm going through the first unofficial uh, meeting of Yes We Tech this season. Yes We Tech is focused on diversity and equality in tech. Shall we begin? Number two, project meetings. I love this book. It's reworked by Jason Fried and THH. As they say, meetings are toxic. In this book, they also give the quick, simple rules how to you know, deal with meetings. This is the list. Set a timer when it rings, meeting is over, period. So, you know, to schedule amount of time that you really uh, want to devote to the meeting, it, it would be perfect. Invite as few people as possible. Um, always have a clear agenda. Begin with a specific problem. Meet at the side of the problem instead of a conference room. Point to real things and suggest real changes. End with a solution and make someone responsible for implementing it. Meetings are like time stealers and when I meet with a client uh, to talk about the project, I try firstly to prepare it and uh, to, to prepare the ground for it, to send him some list of questions firstly and to discuss just only the doubts and you know some unexpected uh, things that he hadn't mentioned so far. I'm learning it. I'm learning also it how to schedule the meetings uh, in order to be more productive with them and in order to get as much as possible from them. I've just had a call with the client and uh, I'm super happy and I want to share with you that. Why I want to share it is because it teaches another thing about being freelancer and uh, developer. The thing is that uh, because of asking properly the questions, because of um, clarifying the details, because of making from the general concept something that is tangible, uh, we reach the solution that seems to be really, really uh, awesome and really interesting to, to design. Connecting learning with uh, working as a freelancer is, uh, seems to be a really nice solution because you have extra time for learning but also you know, money to survive and uh, it, it gives you the real, the real life experience. I would suggest going for smaller projects and for, for the tasks that you really feel you know, at least comfortable with. Uh, they should be challenging, they should be challenging in order to make you grow, in order to make you develop and in order to like their work and you know the projects, to make them inspiring also for you. This uh, real life experience um, is like a real training before uh, bigger projects and bigger jobs. Remember that you don't need permission to start coding, to start designing, to start freelancing and to start taking projects and to start you know working with clients. Being self-aware and being reliable, you can really you know, start doing it right now. And the third type of meetings, off topics. So meetings with friends and meetings, you know, connected with your hobbies, meetings connected with staying alive in other fields of life. There are some myths about people who close themselves and, you know, in, like in the cabinet and uh, eat a shitty pizza and simply learn coding. Uh, in order to stay focused, but is another way for me to do it. Uh, I need variety in order to stay motivated, in order to learn. Coffee isn't the fuel of my code. Uh, variety is. It's after 6 p.m. and I'm going out to the, to the next meeting this week. And in order to use the time on my way, I'll be listening to the podcasts. I've just finished listening to the podcast to the last um, late night with Travel Noise about productivity and about self-awareness. It's really worth recommending.
in order to stay motivated you cannot sit all the time in front of the screen you have to go out We are going for the meeting, this will be for Tomek, and we are also I took part in a few meetings and was trying to organize a few next. The main problem of this week, display grid and the fact that it's not supported by the browsers. I gathered a few brownies, uh, helping other people on Gitter, but also I need some more to reach my 500 brownie challenge. So I will keep on helping other people next week. Next week I will have to put the priority to the new project that I'm starting, it's connected with design. But from learning to code and my personal uh, learning to code projects, I will start uh, implementing the new portfolio using Flexbox and SAST. Keep on doing, go for productive meetings and see you soon. Yeah.